y'all? This your boy Fizzy Womack, aka Lil Fame. We right here on G4 TV. You know what I mean? Freestyle 101. I'm about to go in for y'all. Salute. Beyond heat, shock em, stop em, pop, pop em, pop, pop, pop em, straight rock em, boot knock em, slug em, hot lead drug em, plug em, mother made em, mother love em, fuck em. Yo, it's time to hit em up, I split em up, it's a little fizzy, whoa, get em up, name the toughest MC, I done lit em up, hand em a drink, after I just pissed in this cup, this animal wins thing, a cannibal wins thing, for the non-believe that didn't believe, shit stink, for instance, I lay on em, religiously pray on em, start spitting like an AK on em, I got em, I get em, I shot em, I split em, and for war path, I don't want hold, I'm the raw half, it's love fame, take my name well. I knocked the devil from gas house, spit on him, then I walked out of hell. I told you before, baby, I'm from the place for three pounds, a four pound kill. Don't it sound ill when I roll through? No, it's all real brown jacket, brown hat, brown sweater, brown tin, brown beer, nigga. You heard? G4 TV. Salute. Yeah. To the, to the hip hop music through the, uh, you know, the hustlers used to pull up, the hustlers, young hustlers used to pull up. I was a baby at the time. They used to pull up like every Friday and they have a jewelry contest, you know what I mean? They park their cars on the corner. At that time, they was pumping probably one DMC, suck MC to some fat boy, put on the sticker or something. They pull up in the 98, you know what I mean? Cadillacs and Bells, Spoke Rams. And they have a jewelry contest, you know what I mean? They take pictures every Friday, see who chain is the biggest. Stuff like that, but as far as the music, I always, I always was into the music from guess from guess that my brother, my brother had a had a had a turntable set. I don't know what for, you know what I mean. <laughs> and, and, and from there, man, I just used to. I always loved music. I was about five, six years old. I remember we used to go to we used to go to Howard Pool and Bessie and Pool. We go to we had a thing called free lunch. We'd go to free lunch in the morning, you know what I mean. <laughs> Come back, hang out on the block. Play Skelly or something. You know, usual kid thing run through lots. We go to the pool, come back, catch free lunch, the lunch. <laughs> you know what I mean? And come back. By the time the park, by the time you come back from the pool, it's like six, seven o'clock. You hear the music from the park. So we go in the house, go get fresh, put on our best little outfits or whatever, little school outfits. Go back up to the park, you know what I mean? Just watch the DJ. Get them wrecked, DJ, get them wrecked. Yeah, zip and zap, you know what I mean? Yeah, DJ Monty Hall, Snoop Monty Hall. You know what I mean? Yeah, the school was scrapped, that'll do the dancing. That's pretty much how I grew up on the hip hop, man. I think freestyle and, and, and the fun part of hip hop is gone. Like now it's, it's like 90% image. You know what I mean? And 10%, you know what I mean? Uh, gimmick or whatever, you, you know? It's not, it's not about the talent no more. You know what I mean? The talent I was telling you about was just raw talent. No videos, no nothing. When you heard a song back in the days, they playing it because it's hot. You know what I mean? It's not playing it because no, you know, no payola or nothing. And nowadays, it's a lot of money in hip hop. That's what changed. You know what I mean? It went from that to like a bunch of money in this game. The part where we lose, there's no talent. There's nothing that make you want to go home and be like, yo, I heard you heard what he said. Yo, I gotta, you know, it's not, it's none of that. People can freestyle all day. That don't mean that they, they are ill art. They are artists. You know what I mean? You got to be able to write songs. You got to know when to stop rhyming. Sometimes too much rhyming. You know, we don't, sometimes we don't want to hear too much rhyming. Like, slow down, you know? I just want to sing the song with you. You know what I mean? So it depends when, and when, when it depends on when you're applying the, the freestyle. You know what I mean? If there's a bunch of lyricists in the room, you know what I mean? Back back when I was younger, it used to be that, that kind of that kind of atmosphere. A bunch of lyricists in the room, and everybody go around, everybody spit one. But nowadays, you don't want to be the only asshole with a bunch of lurks. <laughs> and these cats ain't, you know, what they spend is garbage. 
Or right now, they they threatening you. Fuck your mother. I kill you. Get my lyrics so I kidnap your kids. You're like, I don't want to rap after that. <laughs> I can't. I'm not tough as that, son. And I can't go no harder than that. You know what I mean? But when it's back to the lyrics, man, it, that's that's what it makes you think. It make you it make you want to write. And then it, you don't look you don't look too aggressive trying to show show your talent. You know what I mean? You don't look out of place showing your talent. But sometimes you you can have unnecessary talent. Like you ain't got to go that far right now. <laughs> like you're overdoing it right now. You know? I mean, I feel if you got a a triple platinum record and you got three million three million people listening to you. You, you can go back to what it really was, you know what I mean? And there and the people that's coming up will follow that. They'll know you can do what it really is, you know what I mean? You don't have to make them kind of candy songs, you know. You don't have to make them that kind of music, you know what I mean, to, to get your record played. If if you if you at the forefront and you got followers, let 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 the youngin follow the real the real shit, the real hip hop. You know what I mean? 